Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are doing Sonic Cleansing. So, this is what the box came in. The brand I got was Catherine Maldrino. And here is the item. I'm going to test it out for the very first time and see if it's worth you getting it. Or if this is just a hype tool and not worth it. So, I'm going to use it the first time on air. I'm going to let you hear the sound. So, this is what you're going to be hearing. Hopefully, nothing that dramatic comes out of my pores. I take really good care of my skin. So hopefully nothing surprising comes out, but I will definitely let you know if it's worth it. And then as I go along, we are gonna be discussing something. My personal sub subject that I like to discuss is Jenna Marbles. That's what I wanted to land on about how great she is. So as we get going, that's what I'm gonna do. Now, if you see redness around my mouth and my eyes, I had my last appointment to get some dental work done. So hopefully you won't have to experience my numb Mouth for very much longer so it says keep your face wet as doing this I read the directions so instead of standing by the sink I can't do that and shoot with you guys so I have some spray right here this is the Tarte Miracle Mist and it has maracuja oil in it which is going to give it some nice slip so I'm going to spray my face turn it on And as I'm gliding, it's just the vapor of the water coming off. I'm not seeing anything come out of my pores, which is good. Yeah, even as I'm going slow, it seems like just oil is coming out of my face. For somebody that has dry skin, I don't need that done. So I'm not seeing anything dramatic. Okay, some gum came out of my chin. So that was gross. See if the nose, because I would think that that'd be the second place. They say go really slow. And it's getting some stuff out, so I'm pretty impressed what's coming out. I don't know if I would do the whole face. As you can see, the, let me turn this off if I put it close to you guys. There's some gunk coming out, nothing too dramatic. But instead of doing the whole face, if you have like a congested area, that's what I would focus on because I don't know if this would be good doing it all over your face if it doesn't need to. Like my cheeks, nothing really came out of. It nice and wet. It's kind of cool as you're doing it. You could see the water coming off, it turns into a vapor.
So some gunk came out of my forehead in the middle. I think this is a pretty cool little tool for certain spots. I'm trying to see if anything else I want to extract. Now they do say this is gentle. I wouldn't do this all the time. I would do it every couple of months. And just do the, your problem areas. So that's all I'm going to do now from what I saw as you can see how red I am so this when I mess with my face my skin naturally does turn very pink so you can see where I went down deep how red it got so like I said I will probably use this once every two months maybe and certain areas I will target on my nose my chin and then not so much a very light on my forehead because it doesn't need it that much but I'm pretty happy with it I can see using it on my nose mostly because the junk, junk that came out of there so I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna rinse my face and then we're gonna go through because it says follow up with skincare afterwards and then now that that's off we'll have a discussion about the topic I said so I'll be right back all right so I washed my face with cold water and I used a very gentle cleanser I used the CeraVe hydrating cleanser so that was really nice and gentle on my skin you could still see some redness here I hope the noise of this didn't aggravate you too much but at least you know what sound you're gonna get if you purchase this product so we're gonna follow up with skincare since we extracted the pores I want to make sure what we did stays nice and clean and it gets even deeper this is why not much came out is because I use this this is the polished choice BHA liquid exfoliant it's amazing so I'm gonna put this on I'm not going to go too extreme with the actives because I don't want to piss off my skin. This needs to set for a few minutes so that would give perfect time. So the thing I wanted to touch base on and I didn't want to talk as the thing was going because it made an annoying squealing sound and I didn't want you not to be able to hear me. So the thing that I wanted to talk about is something controversial. I love her a lot and it's Jenna Marbles. She has not uploaded for over a year and which is a shame. She brought a lightheartedness that I truly miss. I still watch her videos and I think she hit all age groups. So people I work with because I am a server so I work with young kids because they're busters and food runners. So young high schoolers, seniors, my son who's graduated and he's in college, he likes her. I of course love her. My husband who's a bit older than me, he loves her so she hit all age groups and I think that during now with everything going on out there and we all know what that is, that's something that is missed and it sucks that she's not uploading. If you haven't checked her out and you live under a rock, watch her videos. She's so innocent she will bring a smile to your face when we have a stressful day we still me and my husband come home we put her on we watch her 
and I want you to comment down below your favorite Jenna Marbles moment. So I was thinking about what would mine be. I think number one is Rabwitch. It is so funny. She dresses up as this glammed out witch and she's running around doing UFC fighting. <laughs> Her boyfriend now fiance is filming her he's excellent too them two together is just as julian would say chef kisses <laughs> and that's one thing that sucks that she was bullied so bad by a few mistakes she did and people i guess got hurt by some content she made when she first came on air and she came out and apologized and i guess she felt so bad of what she said and how she was taken that she stopped making videos and like I said, that really sucks because I miss her a lot. I will continue to watch her because I think that where she came from was not malicious. I think she's a very sweet, innocent, and kind-hearted person. And she comes from a good place. For goodness sake, how many dogs they have. And they rescued a dog named Bunny. She's amazing. And they took such good care of her. And you watched her come along. It's just their whole story I love a lot. I asked my husband what his favorite was and it was teaching Jenna, um, Julian does Jiu Jitsu. So he has three videos out where he's teaching her how to do it. His favorite is the second video. I think it's funny as well, but I already told you what my favorite was, but I look forward to reading your comments down below and telling me your favorite Jenna Marbles video. It's there are too many to say i mean <laughs> i want to be tall is a great one that was probably my second favorite that had me cracking up and i really honestly miss her and if you just need to get away and de-stress from your day having a bad day watch her videos you will crack up into tears that's how funny she is so i'm going to go for my next step i just wanted to touch base on that because she's just amazing and you could tell inside what a good person she is. I don't think she has a bad bone in her body. She just put out content that wanted to put a smile on your face. And she did for my whole family. So I'll tell you what I just put on my face. I'm just trying to get it in. I like to rub and pat. So this is the Shiseido Power Infusing Concentrate. So I do two squirts of this, and I do a little pea-sized amount of the Paracone Neuripeptide Night Cream. And as you saw, I just rubbed it all over my face. I'm looking so forward to hearing your comments down below telling me your favorite Jenna videos. So the next step I'm gonna do is put on my night cream. And this one is amazing. It's Tatcha Ageless Enriching Renewal Cream. It is a heavy duty moisturizer. I love it a lot. And it's just about soothing what you did to your face. Because even though they say this is gentle on your face, I don't think it is as gentle as they're claiming. It's a lot for your skin to take. So get that in. And then next thing I'm gonna do is put an oil because I wanna give extra love to my face. This is the Ordinary. This is the Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. I think this is amazing. And I'm gonna do three drops. This oil, I've seen such a difference in my skin. Press that in. After that treatment, this is feels so good. That's one thing I really enjoy is taking care of my skin. Now, if I have a bad reaction, to this the next day what I'll do is I'll put it in the description box if something happens I don't see anything happening from this because I can tell when my skin's really pissed off and it doesn't like something it just seemed like this took a lot out of my skin 
because you're going down there and cleaning your pores really deep. It's really tugging at your pores, getting them clean. So I am happy I bought this. I would get a uh, one on sale. I wouldn't pay full price on this. I don't think I would spend more than 60 bucks on this, but it's a nice thing to have. So if you can conge get congested in your nose or your cheeks or wherever you have problems with, this is a nice treat to do once a month, maybe once every two months, whatever your skin can handle. If you want, do a small area. I did my whole face to do it for you so you can see what happens, but maybe patch area. Do a certain little area. So do your uh, cheek first to see how your skin reacts because this is not as gentle as they say. I think it's worth it. I'm glad I purchased this, but let me know if you try it, what you think of it and how you like it on your skin. All right, turn this off. Now I hope you like this video and I look so forward to hearing your favorite stories about Jenna and all her stories and Julian. So can't wait to read those. All right, since that's the end of the video, I'm gonna go and grab my co-star to say goodbye to you. Come here, sugar bear. All right, so if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Like I said, put down your favorite Jenna moments down below and smash that bell. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys.